Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Giveni. Thank you for coming down and listening to me rant on. My name is James Chase, and I'm from the equally well-named Chase Distillery, a local distillery in Herefordshire. Um, I'm going to keep a very simple rant today, um, but a quest that I've been in, in, in my life, particularly in the last five years, in distilling and where, where we've kind of got to now. The main point of that is, is, is spirits and our knowledge of spirits. Uh, Rufus Carter, a, I wouldn't say mentor, but, but someone I've always looked to for advice on ranting, um, has always discussed the key thing about, about a Thursday night. And, and, and you're going out and we're spending a lot more money in, in fine food and supermarkets and delicious wine. But yet we go out on a Thursday night and, and we drink anything and anything possible, as quick as possible to get as inebriated as possible so we completely forget the night. Binge drinking en masse in Britain has really affected us now. And, and I think things are starting to change with the education and the, the introduction of great spirits and people knowing more about fine spirits in this country. So we started our, our, our story um, building a, a distillery and, and we do a lot of labor um, putting in the whole product. It takes two weeks to, to distill right through to process. That's fermentation, distillation and bottling. And, uh, and, and the key thing is there's so many products that we compete with on the market that don't even make them themselves. Uh, and the main benefactor of that is neutral spirit that makes up a key base, a lot of the products on the market from vodkas to gins, the products that we're in, to even tequilas, rums and whiskies. That neutral spirit is such a cheap commodity at the moment that has been bought in from all around the world. So it's going back to that point that we see our local butcher, we see our local baker and we see him on the packet in the morning, but we go on a Thursday night and we drink whatever we can get our hands on, not having a single clue where it's come from. And this is such a shame because you're paying six, seven, eight quid for a cocktail or a glass of wine and, and it's, it's having that clue and justification where it's come from. The body is a temple and we've got to respect that. Uh, and I think we're going through such an odyssey now, but there's such a long way to go as consumers and marketeers of, of spirits. We have just launched our gin at Abergavenny. Uh, I think we're gonna get some samples going around at the end, you lucky folks. Um, and gin is such an interesting thing that, ask yourselves, how is gin made? What's it made from? And, and, and you, you go juniper or cucumbers from particular brands promoting that on the market. But particularly how it's made is, 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 is quite tricky. And that's because there's little knowledge coming from the brands that are pushing those products or little knowledge from the bartenders that are supplying you those drinks. So the quicker we can get through that and, and increase that knowledge, the more we can understand respect booze and drink less but better. So neutral spirit is such a mass commodity that's coming in and it's it's making these distilleries triple their, their, their output because they're a mass strip spirit that's able to literally 10 times a distillery's output. We could make 10 times as much as a tenth of the cost if we brought in a neutral spirit. And it's really key for us now to show how we do all our steps and promoting that slower way of distilling something. So there's more of respect to, to justify that. And that's where we really have our gin launch now. Gin is going through such a great revolution but you'll see a lot of the gins that you probably have in your cabinet at home or in the supermarket, and they'll be probably made in the same distillery. You'll see their back shelf, and they've all got these completely wacky different marketing stories, but yet they're made in the same distillery. And yet you've spent 10, 20, 30, 40 quid even on that bottle of, uh, uh, of booze that you've, you've, you've been really sold. So our main effort now is to really push how spirits are made and how they're promoted. And that's starting off by showing people the de definition of these products. Gin, so you're all gonna go away with actually not knowing how gin's made. Gin by definition is a redistilled vodka. How do you make vodka? Anything from an agriculture base distilled to 96%. Gin is exactly the same, but the predominant flavor is juniper berries. Uh, and most gins on the market now be made with a wheat or a grain base. And we're actually using potatoes because we freaking love potatoes. Um, but yeah, please come and try at the bar behind there. Please keep an eye on, on what you're drinking when you go out on a Thursday night. And particularly in the spirits world, pay attention to, to the craft revolution of distilling that you see, you see before you. But yeah, come and check out our bar and um, come hassle me for some samples. Thank you.